Hey guys, this is Sam, and over the past few months, I have been using iOS 10.3.3 and iOS 11 side by side on two separate iPhone 7s. Some days, most days I would use the iOS 11 iPhone, and some days I would switch to iOS 10.3.3. And every time I'd go back to the iOS 10.3.3 iPhone 7, it always felt so much faster and smoother. But that could be due to the fact that iOS 11 was in beta testing, while iOS 10.3.3 was the final public version of iOS 10. So now that we have the first public version, version of iOS 11, I wanted to put these two to the test to see whether or not one was faster or if they were essentially the same speed. In order to make this comparison as even and realistic as possible, I didn't launch up each application individually because I've seen some speed tests where people do that, but at the end of the video, you don't see how much of a difference there was between the devices except a few milliseconds whenever you launch up individual apps. So instead, I recorded each of these speed tests individually, one right after the other. On the left here is a white iPhone 7 running iOS 10.3. And on the right is a black iPhone 7 running iOS 11.0. Now both of these have the exact same hardware so neither have been given an advantage and they were freshly rebooted before I recorded either of these speed tests. Now interestingly enough, at the beginning, counter to my hypothesis, iOS 11 was actually going faster than iOS 10.3.3. But as the speed test slowly starts to progress, the iPhone running iOS 10.3.3 slowly begins to catch up, especially when specifically loading applications. The iPhone on iOS 10.3.3 seemed to be just slightly faster. When it came to just opening applications, the animation on iOS 11 looks a little bit slower, but at the end of the day, it's almost identical to the animation on iOS 10.3.3. I also made sure that both of these iPhones were running the latest version of these apps. Now, the only difference here would be that the stock apps on iOS 11 obviously have some new features and some new looks compared to the stock apps on iOS 10.3.3. But other than that, these apps are in the exact same states that they're launching in. They have the exact same data and memory. I'm logged into the same accounts on both of these devices. Now, when I finally got to the speed test app, even though the iPhone on iOS 10.3.3 was a little bit faster to open the app, the speeds on the iPhone running iOS 11 were a little bit higher, not by a lot, 10 or 20 megabytes. And I want to say that that's just because I ran these speed tests at different times. In my day-to-day -day usage, I've not noticed anything that would suggest that iOS 11's Wi-Fi or cellular data speeds were faster than iOS 10.3.3. It's totally possible that there could be some minor improvements, but when it comes to using apps and not just running an internet speed test like you saw here, I don't think you're going to notice much of a difference. Completing the raw speed test first was iOS 10.3.3. Even though at the beginning of this test, iOS 11.0 jumped ahead immediately, it turns out that iOS 10.3.3 is still slightly faster, but it's not by that much, only 5 to 10 seconds. So at the end of the day, are you going to notice this? No, you're not going to notice this difference in day-to-day -day use. But is it slightly faster? It is the Geekbench score higher on iOS 10.3.3. Yes, it was 49 points higher on iOS 10.3.3 for the Geekbench score in comparison to iOS 11.0. So if you're planning on updating iOS 11, know that at least on the iPhone 7, it will not slow your device down. But as you go back to devices like the iPhone 5S and even the iPhone 6, it could get a little bit slower. Maybe the results between two iPhone 6s, one on 10.3.3 and one on iOS 11, could be a little bit more extreme. 5 to 10 seconds is not a big deal at all. I thought that iOS 11 would finish at least 30 to 40 seconds behind iOS 10.3.3, but I was wrong. iOS 11 really is not as slow as I initially thought. So if you enjoyed watching this video, as always, it would really help me out if you hit that like button down below. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos on iOS 11 in the future. I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you in the next one.